hi guys welcome to my channel it's big nanny stop playing with me don't let anyone stop playing with me today i'm gonna don't mind my hair it's a bad hair day i'm not gonna lie but it's just for today it's sunday i'm just chilling you know what i mean i'm gonna fix it anyways today i'm gonna do a reaction of shad um no sorry tommy g and inside look at new york new york's drill rap scene i saw saji shaji on the thumbnail so i want to check it out um sorry for not uploading for this many days but i've just been no i've just been chilling really so yeah let's do this the recording 42 I'm Tommy G. I'm here in the Bronx at the East Chester Gardens. Welcome to the drill music scene, baby. And we're here to explore drill music. Let's get it. Before we go to the Bronx, first we have to talk about Bush. George Bush? No. The ink sponsor me, so sorry, buddy. And I have nothing to do with landscape, to be honest. This is the brand trusted by 8 million men around the world. He's an 18-year-old kid with a distinct... Get two free gifts, free international shipping, and use promo code TOMMYG for 20% off. Shah G's is a Bronx-based rapper causing ruckus on the internet. He's an 18-year-old kid with a distinct voice and aggressive style. He's emerging as a major player in the world of drill music. Drill emerged from Chicago and has found another home in New York. Drill rappers are known for saying crazy and threatening bars. For example, Shah G's has a line that goes, Some of these words result in real-life violence. Today, we explore Drill further and head to the East Chester Gardens to speak with Shah and his crew and get an inside look at his life. It's not every day you get to wake up. His crew, you mean gang members? And head to the project. I feel like so much of rap history comes from places like this. This group is absolutely popping. Like the moves they make. Here's a couple songs right now. So we're meeting some kids that could be the next New York legend. How you guys doing? Good to meet you, big dogs. Hello. My name's Shah G from the Bronx. I'm a drill rapper. You know, we outside, like, other than that, you know, we get money. You guys are putting up crazy numbers. Is that blowing your mind how big you're getting, how quick it's going? Right, yeah, that's a fact. It's like, this shit, like, this shit happened overnight. This shit crazy, man. Like, I be bugging, I be like, damn, man, I really did that shit. Where are we right now? Tell the people where we are. How many people live in this place? Oh, uh, probably like more than the whole city. Let me just restart the, the thing because I don't, it, it lags sometimes. So like, let, let's just restart this, okay? Uh, 3, 3, 32, 3, 32. In Milwaukee, live in this spot. <laughs> oh yeah, what's the lingo around here? Like if I want to try and blend in, oh, what words oh, do I got to oh, know? Oh, simple shit. Oh, simple yeah, shit? Yeah, simple shit for me. Like just basic shit? Yeah, basic shit. Right. Baba. What the hell is that? A thotty. Oh yeah, I've, I met a couple of those in my day. Baba is a thotty? Baba means dad in Arabic. What the hell? Let me restart the recording though. They tripping though what four no seven i try and stay away though you know yeah, what i mean you guys, you guys ever bust out push-ups or pull-ups around here or what um i feel like busting out a bunch of push-ups right now big dogs gotta eat let's go how old are you 18. So you're young and you probably have your DMs absolutely flooded. I mean, you're becoming yeah. a famous rapper. Yeah. What is that like? How do you navigate the floods of DMs and the women? I appreciate all my fans. Everybody know the vibes. Everybody know how I feel about them. All the haters can suck my d though, you heard? Do you have any girlfriends? No. Are no. you trying to stay single for a while? Do my little thing, get money. Right now you're focused. Once you make it big, then you can think about women. Right. 
for all these men that's getting depressed about these females, bro, man. Bro. Fuck these bitches, Get man. some I'm money, Get some money, man. Get some money. Don't be depressed. A lot of people have come from the Bronx and make things happen. Were there people that you looked up to on the journey as you're coming up? Who did you look up to? I ain't really look up to nobody and shit, but like, for me, like, music wise and shit, like, yeah. new baby and shit, cheap key, little dirt. What does it mean to be a drill rapper? There's a lot that come with this shit, you know? Yeah, yeah, I just really yeah. go crazy in this shit. Like, what, if you believe in yourself, go crazy, bro. Don't ever have doubts about yourself. That's how you're not gonna make it nowhere, bro. We were in the Diamond District before we came here, and when I told people we were coming here, they said, be careful, there's a war going on. Is that exaggerated, or what do you think about that? They're trying, they're trying. We don't know what they're talking about. We don't little... condone no violence, no. Everything we say is just music. You have a line that made me laugh. It was something like, if I see him, I'm gonna kick his stroller. I might see somebody and keep it short. <laughs> I ain't gonna talk on that though. Is there any New York handshakes? Cause I was in Lauder Hill and they yeah, have yeah, some yeah, like yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 See, that's what I'm talking about. I feel like I, need, I have to study for like three years to get that correct. <laughs> yeah. So I'd imagine you guys are pretty well known in the area. What is that like? Tell me about that. They having a big family. Yeah, yeah that's a fact. We all big family. ass family. Are you guys thinking you'll stay in the Bronx long term? Are you guys gonna get fancy and go to LA? Or like, what's in the plans, guys? What's in the plans? I mean, we we, we, go, we should take a trip overseas, man. Overseas hoes, feel me? You guys want gangster overseas, overseas hoes? Yeah, do you see yourself living in New York, or do you ever want to move to another place? Definitely move to another place. Yeah, but right now, for me, I'm making New York living. Like, when you're putting up a, a few hundred thousand hits in like five days on a video, like you are making yeah. big waves, dude. No, no, no. I'm no. just be trying to keep my head on the right track. Yeah. Me, that's what I be trying to do. I mean, get shit done. Because no matter what the numbers are, the mission's always the same. It's work yeah. hard, record good yeah. shit, entertain people, keep making moves, right? right? So this is it. This is it. What does it mean to get started? Moving sex, I steal my pivot. I could be dead or a journey minute. We up next. Fuck a visit, like I'm trying to move out the whole way. Hey, hey, hey. Let me see the two right now. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Pack up and go home and start crying. Nah, or what? No, 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 no. The dance moves in Milwaukee is like this. It's like you do this. Shout out to the 404 certified Trevor. Y'all know the, y'all know the vibes. Hey. Oh. Wow. Shout out to my guy Certified Trapper, by the way. Nah, this, this is lit so far, yo, the vibes. But where is you, Jeez, bro? Where is my African brother? Where? What do you envision happening in the next year or so? I'm gonna be mainstream. Drill music, to me, has a very intense energy to it. How would you describe it? This shit lit, man. It's the type you know, of music that people go. You they start getting out shows. That shit going to be crazy. Man. The mosh pits at your show are going to be crazy. Yeah, shit going to sell out. So do you write your shit? You freestyle your shit, or a little bit of mix? A little bit of mix. So like, sometimes I'll be having days I want to write. Sometimes I have days I want to freestyle. Sometimes I have days I want to write and freestyle. So when we go to the studio tonight, you're prepared with what you want to do, or are you just going to off the spot kind of just go? You just off the spot, just kind of just go. Yeah. Or... Were you guys born or raised in the gardens? Right. If you had one meal left on earth, what would you eat? Popeye's chicken. Yeah? I love that chicken for Popeye's. <laughs> Popeye's, if you want to sponsor this guy, let's get it done. Is anything on the bucket list? Like, hey, when everything's said and done, I want to have done this. Like, is there anything on that list for you that really stands out? Rolling loud. Rolling loud? I see myself in rolling loud next year. Did you play any sports? You got that tall frame. Yeah, I used to play ball. When you, when you get a lot of money, what do you want to spend it on? Houses, investing shit for me. Get, get properties, get real myself, estate. Get all that, everything. The only way to true wealth is to own something. Fuck. What do you see yourself as a 40-year-old 40, 40 man doing? Millionaire. Do you see yourself with a family? Yeah. What'd I tell you? But I tell you, get some of that. Enjoy it. The people we talked to said that we were stupid for coming to the Bronx. I'm like, you know No, what? absolutely not, man. We're well, have a good time. We live good here, too. We're down for the barbecues, man. 
we don't want that tough name shit, man. We got love here, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We yeah. not even on that. We on That's all it is. Just don't bring it wrong. Does the MIP not play? Because I've heard like other some cities I go to, people they feel like the police don't do shit, but around here it feels like police get right. after it. Yeah, they got detectives. That's right. Do you have any stories from like uh, like nah. uncles or dads or anything that like experienced things really tough from the NYPD, but now that there's body cams, it's gotten better? I've seen shit like that. It's a little bit easier now, though. Before niggas used to come around, they'd throw you in the truck, they take you like over there, and they'd beat your ass and bring you back. That ass. It's Earth Day coming up at 420. Are you, you feel bad to the Earth when you do that? What if a bird chokes on that and dies? Then it happens. Will you go to the bird's funeral and like give it a flower? What do your grandmas think about drill music? Whatever gets you right. Yeah. Does she ever listen to drill music, your grandma? No, nah, I when don't she, know. When she's in her car cruising around, she's... My grandma like crush me else. What does your grandma think about your music? Bro, what is this? They're just sitting around, like, you can tell these are kids. They're literally sitting in the park talking, like, look at this swinging, like, what life is, what type of life is this? This is the life they live? This is the, the, the lifestyle they portray to be so nice as a rapper. And inside, look at New York's drill rap scene. This is the drill rap scene. Some kids, only one rapper, fucking like friends around, and they literally sitting in the park doing nothing, littering, literally, throwing shit on the floor, smoking. This is the life. Please tell me there's something more. That was. Let me just restart the, the recorder. Like, please tell me there's something more. Like, what is this? What is going on? Like, I'm. 11.25 Like does she ever say like, you need to tone it down Yeah? Hell yeah What do you say to her after that? It's over bro. Why would I stop? So when you go to school, people know, like I'm assuming everyone knows who you are, right? School? Mm -hmm. What's that like walking through the hallway? I don't go to school You don't go to school? Mm -hmm. When did you decide to leave? Basically when your rap started blowing up? Yeah. Did you guys say you're happy? I see I'm maintaining you. Uh, you think money buys you happiness? No. Nah, but the money can not buy you life. You you die. Die. So we're taking the local advice, enjoying the local cuisine. You got chopped cheese here? Yeah. What brought you to this area? Shaji's. <laughs> you heard of him? Yes, I definitely heard of him. Uh, he's like my nephew. Mm -hmm. I grew up under his mom, you know, so I seen him come up. Yeah, what is it like to have a guy that lives right by you start to blow up? Contrary to popular belief, my area has put off a good significant amount of talented people. So he's one of the first major, definitely. But, you know, we've seen this type of thing before. Well, now, folks, it's time to eat some chopped cheese, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a good night. These fellas had a good recommendation. Now that we've fueled up, it's time to drive back into the city, hit the studio. I think it's going to be a little bit wild. Oh man, I was getting litty. Yeah. Nice to meet you, man. Just one time. How you doing? Good to, work, yeah. Good to see you. Yeah. So it's been hectic these last couple months, but yeah. it's, it's, it's been nice, you know? What well, makes it hectic? It's always working, whether it's studio, video shoots getting with new producers every week, all that type of stuff, it gets crazy. Is it amazing you used to see the success of like, he puts out a song and it gets a quarter million, half a million views just Insane. like that. It's great, especially the last two songs we put out, Pop and Perry and this new one, Talk My Shit Forward, did 100K in 24 hours, doesn't get better than that. Isn't that insane? Is there any New York lingo that you've learned listening to the music? Of course. What are some words that you can break down for us? The number one's gotta be cheeks. You cheeks. know, that's, that's, that's Shaw's thing, you know. I heard Mike them saying that. that. Cheeks, 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 cheeks. They were saying it before? Yes, yes. What can you tell us about the music scene in New York right now? What's got you excited? Uh, it's, it's a lot of good up and comers, bro. It's probably the most live I've ever seen it. Yeah. Then obviously we got the drill scene going crazy in New York, so it's... Are you recording the Shaw session? I'm not doing the Shaw session. Okay. Now. Drill music is what's taking the city by storm. What's your take yeah. on it? Anything that's gonna put New York back on the map is fire to me, bro. I come from when it, this was the epicenter of music. So if this is the beginning of kind of that coming back over here, then I'm with it, I'm for it. As far as like the negativity surrounding it, which I get, but I mean, when I was it's growing up, we huh? had the same type of shit. It wasn't 
there was people who didn't like what we was dealing with when I was listening to G Unit and all of that. So, and when you were growing up, who did you look up to in the rap? That's what I'm saying. I had 50. It's not no different than that. So I still to this day don't believe there was a, a run that was as quick and huge. Like I've never seen something like that. How fast it came, it took over the world. You ever have to be careful booking a session with different drill rappers to make sure they don't. We got to hold yeah, we have to know about the politics and shit. So you kind of have to do a little bit of homework before you book people? Have you ever had something go down here? Nah. Where it's like a... We try to be smart about it. So this is obviously the lobby. This is where we kind of show off all the things that we do. And yeah, this is uh, the two, so owner, studio, studio manager. They're actually business partners for- Wow, Pop Smoke. That's Kehlani, Joey Badass. So wait, Joey Badass may have pooped in the same toilet as I might poop in? Yes. That's pretty sweet. Yes. <laughs> So this is the master room, this is like the last stuff in Where does the, the artist go? They don't, we usually this is by themselves. So usually here, after you track, you're upstairs, you track, then an engineer comes, they mix the joint. And the master and part of the process is to sort of get it up to like industry standard as loud as it possibly can without it distorting. There's nothing like when you get that song just complete and you hear it in the studio, mm. it's probably the best place to hear it. That or the car. Hey, I'm Tommy. Hey man, Alex. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Have you seen any of his videos? He's a wild child. I just looked through his Instagram like an hour ago. That's it. Okay. Wait, look, shit sounds good. I feel like when he raps, it's like he's gonna just catapult through the door a little bit. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. How long does it take the average rapper to make a song? Would you say? It's different for everyone. You know, some people be taking like three weeks. Some people just get a song done in like five minutes. Yeah. You know? It really could it's be. Just yeah. different. There's no average. What's your guys' bet with Shaw? How how long do you think it's gonna take for you to make a song? 20, yeah. 30 minutes. <laughs> 20, 30 like minutes. 15. You think you have 15, 15 minutes? Because a lot of these songs are like a minute and a half. Yeah. yeah. Have you guys ever had something crazy go down in the studio before? We had Pop Smoke here. Yeah, that whole video, that classic video, Pop Smoke yeah. in the studio doing singing Dior. What was that like? I was here that night. That shit was crazy. Yeah, it must have been electric. Like, what do you see as the impact of drill music? It's more of a trend kind of thing. Like it's also like a quick way to get popping or like, you know, start your own thing, you know? Yeah. A lot of it is just like people talking shit to each other, but, or do you feel like the kids take it very seriously that they actually want to like gun each other down? It's beef, but like, I don't think a lot of these people are really like that. What's up, man? How you been, man? How you doing? Of course. So I hear today that we're recording more of like a love song, huh? I don't know, probably. How you guys doing? You know, we dangerous, living, oh, living dangerous. Different. Cheeks! <laughs> cheeks! Cheeks! Guess what I call my wife? I call her Sweet Cheeks. Cheeks! She's got them <laughs> cheeks. <laughs> Do you guys love hitting the studio and just going crazy on the yeah. snack bar? What's your favorite candy bar of the bunch? The Snickers, Snickers, you feel me? I'm gonna drop the craziest drill verse in history. Mm. How about that? All right. All right. That's all. We got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Cheese! And that's it. It's gonna be like a six second release. It's gonna be six, yeah. 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 All right. I want a proposition. Shaw, I say a couple ad libs. I'll talk crazy shit. But let me hear what you what you's going with. You know what the f time it is, mother. <laughs> it shot G's in this mother. Yeah. Watch out! Cheeks. Oh, I'm gonna clap your cheeks. Yeah. I'll take your grandma on a date if you don't with this track. What's the vibe we're going for through today? Probably some Jersey club shit. I don't know yet. Man. We're gonna get in there and some shit though. You think you're gonna make a love song today? Like a Netflix and chill type of a drill song? Oh, no, oh, cool. We're excited. We're excited, man, to see you do your thing. How long does um, it usually take you to make a song? Like two hours. Okay. And does your voice ever go hoarse? Because you got. Hell yeah. yeah. All the time. Who are your top five out of New York, though? Of all time. Yeah. 50 Cent's on that list. Immortal Technique is on that list. You guys know Immortal Technique? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. He's a Harlem guy, like old school underground type shit. The fact that the nigga name is Immortal Technique? <laughs> nah. What? Do you guys think Tupac's still alive? Nah, man. Nah. I think Michael, Michael Jackson's Jackson still alive. Still alive. Mm. Michael Jackson. Yeah? That nigga alive. He in a trench or something alive. Yo, yo, y'all seen that um oh. that rich nigga? He had the oh, island. Oh. You know what I'm talking Je about? Jeffrey Epstein. Yeah. Yeah, Michael Jackson probably over there. Do you feel like he killed Jeffrey. himself or do you feel like he got taken out? You talking about Jeffrey Dahmer? Like Jeffrey Epstein. Nah, yeah. Epstein, yeah. Yeah, but you guys got Epstein, so don't even No, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. When he from Dahmer killed 12 people, your guy touched children. Yeah, yeah, that's that's worse, that's, that's worse, but... That's a fact. He was taking the good ones off the market, you heard? Mm. <laughs> Get them names out of here. Do you guys trust the government? 
Not at all. Joe Biden. Suck my dick. Robot. I think it's a robot, bro. Biden's a robot. Yo, who the black nigga will be wild and too? Like? Yo, mayor. Boy, mayor. I, I see not. Big brother. I ain't gonna lie, you bro. So I ain't gonna lie. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna. I fuck with you. I appreciate it. You a cool nigga, man. I appreciate it, guys. What about the trannies, bro? Hell no. I want to call the world doing that shit, bro. This world is crazy. You know you fucking up God's plan. If you was born with a dick, nigga, swing your. Niggas trying to switch it up and. Word, trying to have like five genders and shit. She's the best, dude. Bow, 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 bow. Bow, 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 bow. Things are blowing up, things are moving fast. What does it feel like? I feel amazing, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm happy for my brothers, bro. How long has it taken to blow up? It took like a year, two years to see this shit go up. What are you most excited for in the future? We all rich, living up. Get a body or two, bro. You wanna leave New York? Yeah, well, we're gonna leave this. So, the come up is a once in a lifetime journey. Like, what is it like that the crew is popping, shot Jesus popping? What does it feel like? I feel like we going up, bro. Is it exciting? Like, is it, does it make you nervous? Like, how does it feel to have. It's, it's exciting. It don't make me nervous. I mean, it made me more alert, you know? Did you ever think in your life that you were gonna be part of a. in the crew of a very successful rapper? I always knew he was gonna do a song, you know? Gangster since we was young. What's your advice to anyone that's coming up in the rap game? Believe in yourself, bro. Keep grinding. Gangster. So what we're witnessing, folks, is the art of creation. And what's crazy is some guys can take three minutes, other guys can take three months to make a song. But whether you're a sculptor, a painter, a rapper, we all have that little light inside our soul that says, create, be something, create something bigger than yourself. And who knows, when he puts this song out, maybe it changes a generation. You never know what's gonna happen with your creation until you launch it out to the world. And that's the fun of being an artist. <laughs> How do you feel when you're in the booth in the studio? I feel regular, like, oh, I don't know. Is it crazy that what comes out of your mouth next could be the next hit? Facts. Let's get it, dude. Let's get it. We get money, we don't do some rock. All that patty, that shit got me pop. Like, pop. Like, please don't stop. Like, is you gonna lick me or not? Like, I'm trying to get out of shot. Move out the way, I'm out of the flop. He said, what? Why the slot? He trying to run. But he dropped. Like, wait. All right, folks, that's the episode. This was an inside look into the Bronx, drill music, and youngsters that are making it happen in New York. We'll see you guys next week. Damn. It was a nice video, though. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit disappointed in the beginning, but then the ending started later. And Shaji seems really like a, like a, He's young, 18 years old, but really had like sense what he says, just not talking shit, you know. My name is smart, you know what I mean? Thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Tommy, for this amazing video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Comment what you want me to do more. Bye.